it's Annabelle Birch Castle here and today I am back finally with an amazing video your SSO confessions yes I have been so excited to do this video and I wanted to wait a day just that way I had all of the confessions and don't worry if yours doesn't make it in now I will be doing a part two because there were a lot and I have a feeling there will be more Anyways, let's get in because the tea was spilled, honeys. First one is from Carlotta Porres. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but Charlotte Star Year. She says, my confession is I'm broke and ugly on SSO. Okay, I'm going to say that's false because you are beautiful in real life and on SSO. I don't know you in real life, but I'm sure you're beautiful in both forms. Okay, the next one's from Ellie Swordlight, and she says, When I first joined the club, I may or may not have screamed too loud and woke my mom up from her nap. Wink face. <laughs> um, well, I'm glad you were that excited. And honestly, I think we've all screamed, and I mean, at least some people probably have done that. I mean, I know I have, but... That's not new. Okay, this one's kind of long, but I had to include it. It's from Isabella Elf Dragon, and she says, I was online my on my friend's account who said she was quitting SSO and wanted me to keep her club, etc. At the time, I was dealing with some club drama who had claimed two of my members were the same person. I ended up pretending to be the other person and joined their club to sneak some photo evidence. My friend took the account back because she decided not to quit and had to lie about how it wasn't me and I didn't mean to leave the club. I guess when I posted it on YouTube, they saw it. I tried to do it again and got away with it. Shh. Oh, um... I'm gonna be honest, I was confused when I read this, but I think I understand you, you know, you borrowed the, or you used the account your friends claimed she was quitting on, and used it to do some dirty work. Okay, scratch that, that was horrible. Anyway, the next one is from Anonymous, and it says, I was in Stormhose hooves before TRPC and freaked out when I realized y'all were on cookie laughing emoji face and I think that's pretty accurate to my reaction except not with my club but a bunch of other clubs like I'll see certain people I know who will move to cookie or clubs I didn't know what server they were on and realize they're on cookie yet I don't ever see them so I don't know if they changed and they just haven't said anything but Either way, I'm always like that too. Okay, the next one is from Nora Oversky. She says, One day, my friend Piggy decided to join the Rose's Legacy and wanted me to get in. I got in and said I wouldn't leave right away. Well, the next day, I left and joined Pink Rabbits again. Sparkling pink heart. Ah! <laughs> um, I know you've been flip-flopping around some clubs, but I did not... I, I feel like you told me that story and I forgot about it. It sounds familiar, but unfamiliar. I don't think that makes sense, but... Another one from Ellie Swordlight. She says, I only have three horses. And that's it. <laughs> the next one is from a good friend, Vanessa Evening Grove. I mean, these are all good friends, but, you know. She says, I find James annoying. Ahem. <laughs> um, yeah, I do too, honestly. I'm sorry, Alex, but... He's just, I'm sorry. Okay, I don't know what on earth just happened, but I swear it just started hailing all of a sudden outside. Okay, anyway, this one is from Nora Oversky. She says, I made a club with a friend, only one other person who was my other friend. It was called Royal Frog's Army, and on Halloween we wore the frog mask and became frogs. A few months later, no one else joined, so I joined TPRC, moved servers, and we never talked again. Yeah, that often happens when you move servers. You just kind of have a falling out because they meet new friends, and you meet new friends, and you know the drill. Alright, the next one is from Julia Swiftrain, and she says, Confession! I hate the Zony horses. Surprisingly, a lot of people actually do. I like them. The only complaint is that their audio has had a glitch since they released, and I'm really hoping Star Stable fixes that, which is the reason why I haven't got the Zony. I probably should, but I have so many ponies, and the glitch bothers me, so... Yeah. 
And the next one is from Anonymous, and they say, I think I'm addicted to SSO. I play it so much it drives my family crazy laughing emoji. Is there anything more accurate to this? No, because, or at least for me, because I have the same issue. <laughs> um, I even have to have a limit now on computer time, so <laughs> we're just gonna move on. Okay, the next one is T. It's from Anonymous, and it says, I secretly used to hate my club, but I knew the club owner, and luckily the owner disbanded anyway. Now, the only thing I have to say about this is, d do you mean they, you know the club owner in real life? Because if so, that must have been pretty awkward. Either way, it's awkward, but especially in real life. Okay, the next one is, I play SSO way too much to the point I just pretend I'm reading a book, but actually on SSO for hours. Oh my gosh. That is a sneaky way. So, like, you put a ginormous book in front of you and then have the computer. I'm not sure, like, what you mean. Maybe you're locked up in your room and you say, oh, I'm gonna go read, and then you're actually just typing intensely, hoping no one will catch you. Um, this one's from Madison Lake Peak. She says, I've sold about five or six horses, but told people I only sold one. Um, I'm not really sure why you're so ashamed. So many people sell, like, way more than horses, so honestly, if you told me that just on a regular basis, I would be like, wow, you... You sold that many? I don't think I would really judge you that much. The next one's from Navy Prime or Hannah Diamond Cat, and all she says is, I sold Spirit. And honestly, you're not alone, because apparently a lot of people have, so not really that shocked. The next one is from, I don't even know how I'll pronounce that, but Alexandrina Shymoon, and she says, I'm your local crusty fox. I'm not going to ask what that means. Um, another one from Madison Lake Peak. I have been in a romantic roleplay on accident, but didn't know it. But I got out of it before anything bad happened. Um, I think I might have, I don't know. I mean, it was a wild roleplay back a long time ago, and there was some mentions about mating, but I didn't really, you know, do anything else after that, so, you know. They did a lot, so I'm just going to do more of theirs. Um, another one from Shy. She says, I have dead bodies in my feeding room in my home stable. I know that because I came up with that. Okay, don't ask. Um, and Madison Lake Peak says, I have never used my star coins to level my horse. I've always done it the real way. Oh, and it's funny because I remember in my first video I said um, <laughs> that training your horse is cheating. But I really don't know how that, if anything, buying it is way more cheating. Don't listen to, you know, younger me because apparently I have no good advice. This next confession is actually really sweet and sad, so grab your tissues right now, honeys. Okay, my dad bought this game, no, question a no questions asked, because he knew it would make me happy. I was so happy and, it, and got to hug him and thank him. He gave me this laptop just so I could play it, and he suddenly died at his work, so I go to the grave in Starshine, and this game is helping with the grief. I'm not sure where that grave is, but I'm not going to try to look for it because, you know, I'm lazy, but, um, that is just so sweet that you have a connection like that. A lot of people, when they experience loss, don't have that kind of thing, so not all of these confessions are, you know drama. Some of these are just super sweet truths. So thank you for sharing that, Anonymous. Okay, the next one is from Madison Lake Peak, and she says, I have been on my friend's account to train their horse. Um, and I know that because I've seen you on other people's accounts before. <laughs> um, hopefully you got permission. I mean, obviously you had to, but um, the next one is Juicy from Madison Rabbit Forest. She says, Once I tried to trick SSO HQ to give me free star coins, I said all my horse's names were changed to my starter's name. Let's just say it didn't work. I don't know how your name change could lead to star coins, but I'm just gonna leave that for you to figure out. Next is from Shy again. She says, I've hated a couple of people in the rabbits. Sorry. Um, as long as they're still not in the rabbits, then that's okay, because here's my confession. 
I have to. <laughs> Nobody who is actually in this club, and there was only, like, two people. They stayed in the club for, like, two days. They didn't, they made it clear they didn't like me either, so let's just leave it at that. But I promise it's nobody that I talk to anymore or in the club right now. So, there you go. My confession as well. <laughs> okay, to avoid any more conflict, next one is from Maggie Pixie Goat, who says, I screamed a song in Global a few days ago. Yeah, I think we all do that. Um, if I'm being honest. All right, the tea is spilled once again, boys. Lena and Ali vlog says I once tried to SC or star coin generator, but got too scared and never finished doing it. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I did not know those even existed, so I would not even attempt to do those. But you know, if you come across a generator that looks kind of sketchy, kind of like someone just put a bunch of paint with bandy cam on. You should probably steer clear of those kind of websites because they're probably just trying to get your account and, you know, sell all your horses and replace them with curly fries, but don't ask me. Ask the hackers. Another one related to Starcoin generators. At first, I wanted to mention the hashtag that was lovely put here. Shy needs a sister because she has four brothers. Rest in peace. I'm very sorry. That must be really... I'm not going to say anything else. And she said, also, I've tried SSO Starcoin generators. All of them. Um, no comment. Because I just stated something about the generators previously. From Madison Lake Peak, she says, I have at least eight alternate accounts, which, that's news to me. <laughs> Navy Prime says, you were the first club that actually cared. My heart. I'm glad that a club actually cares. Um, and I hope you'll forever remember us rabbits. Um, the next one is from Shy. She says, I've cussed multiple times in the club chat. Mm. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. Um, another one is, I've sold one of my Yorvik Wilds. Um, not surprised because people sell horses when they really shouldn't. Sorry, not sorry. Madison Lake Peak says, I have been in, wait, 50, did she say 53? I'm surprised you were even able to count how many clubs you've been in all your life, so congrats, because I haven't. Anyway, the next one, or the last one, is I've never used my parents' card to buy star coins. I've also never let anyone on my account. Good job, and I'm actually really happy that no one said this, because it ticks me off so much that so many kids do that, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this confessions video. Um, if you want a part two, let me know, because I surely will do more. And, uh, thank you once again for 600 subscribers. Literally every day we get a new one, so... Thank you! Um, and, uh, yeah, stay tuned for our anniversary on September 2nd. It's a few weeks away, and I'm really excited. And Bye, guys. <laughs> it's all...